Hey guys, it's Cameron here with Emerson House Buyers. Every week I bring you tools, tactics, strategies, lessons I've learned, things that help me build up a sizable room portfolio in about two years. Um, today I want to talk about, and I've harped on this before, I've harped on it time and time and time again, I want to talk about Ohio State. No, but uh, I am rocking the Ohio State polo today, looking fresh, even though uh, March Madness is about to finish and we didn't do so hot. But... That's neither here nor there. What we want to talk today about is this myth of dropping out of school to become a business owner, become a Bill Gates or a Warren Buffett or a, a Michael Dell, all these clowns that didn't go to school. Um, why don't you just drop out of school? So I thought this would be interesting. Let's actually pull a date on that. Then I want to talk about the likelihood of success in business. So Overall, we we're, you know we talk about these people who didn't finish school like Steve Jobs, uh, Bill Gates, Michael Dell. There, there are several others um, that started successful businesses. But by and large, I'm going to show you the numbers here. I'm going to read them through you, and I've got a little whiteboard today. Woo -woo! I'm going to show you the real true numbers here so we can actually get a true perception and not just hearing about the one-offs because everybody hears about the one-offs. Nobody wants to hear about the crapola that happened or the the people that went bankrupt because they 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 left their job. So or excuse me, they they dropped out. The second piece is actually the success of business. So I'm gonna walk through all that and how much how many businesses actually make money, how much they make, and to show you guys that this is a tough, tough thing to do. I'm not saying it's not rewarding. I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just saying be cognizant when you listen to these clowns who say yeah, start a business. You know, I used to say it too. It made sense. To me, it's been the most influential thing I can do. It's allowed me to do more, be more, become more, is business. But I don't think everybody should do it. So, let's start. Now, I pulled up these following statistics. These are all from the BLS, the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Most of them are in 2017. Some of these come around in, in, you know, some of this might be from articles in 2013, but I've gathered as much data as I can, as consistently as I can around the same time uh, era. But it is a pain in the rear end to get some of this. So uh, some of these vary a little bit by quarter, but overall they're the same. So median income. First of all, what is median income? Median income is if you put all of the incomes in a row from the highest income to the lowest income, if you put them in order, um, that it, it's the middle. It's the number that falls right in the middle. Whereas the average gets to store a little bit because if there's, if Bill Gates walks into a room of 10 people, everybody just became, the average net worth in that room just became $10 billion, right? Bill Gates is worth about $100 billion. So, but the median income in that room might be 100000 or 50000 so the median income is a great number to actually use. So median income, according to the BLS, in 2017 of high school, I'm just going gonna, gonna to shorten a lot of this, but high school dropouts is about 27,000 a year. 27 a year. Can you guys see that? Cool. So that's high school dropout. If you drop out of high school, high school DO, yeah, high school dropout. No college. The no college statistics. These guys make about 37000 a year. Some college. Some college do about 41000 a year. Bachelors, yeah, and at some college could be associates. Bachelors, that is about sixty-one thousand a year. And advanced degrees, obviously, is anything above a bachelor's. That is the median income for those folks is 75 k a year. You'll have to forgive my chicken scratches. I hope you guys can see that. Okay, now, let's, so that's, that's that side. There we go. 
drop out, you're going to make 27. If you actually get an advanced degree, you're at the median, not the average, the median income is 75. Okay, so 27 to 75. Now, what? so let's look at all of the W-2 workers, which means you're actually working for somebody, a big company, not, not a big company, but a company that provides benefits, your full-time W-2 employees. You'll know if you're a W-2 employee because you'll get a W-2 at the end of the year. So W-2 employees, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, Make a median of 45, terrible five, $45,000 a year. 45K a year. Boom. Business owners, business owners make, so this is the self employed people, people who are self employed who have their own business. They make about 72k a year. So that looks pretty good, right? And that's via that comes that number comes from a pay scale uh, survey of 344 companies. So uh, really, it's a lot lower than that. But what can we tell from this? Before we go any further, what can we tell from this? On uh, well, excuse me, the median income is is way, way, way lower if you drop out. I mean, 27, 37, 41, 61, 75. The most people who drop out make very little money, who are high school and college dropouts. They're not making a lot of money. So before you see this number over here and start getting all excited because, woo, you're going to be a self-employed, you're going to own your own business, make 72 k a year. Oh, I'm so glad you guys thought that because I pulled some of the statistics for the uh, the self-employed people, the business owners of this world. Uh, now, bear with me while I get my whiteboard cleaned off here. She's brand new, looking good. What do you guys think? Woo. I got some energy tonight. I don't know which, what it is. I think it's... I think it's because it's about 75 here in Houston. It's fantastic weather today. fan freaking tastic Okay. So, via a Forbes article, 2 million people. This is a 2013 article via Forbes. 2 million people quit their jobs every month in the U.S. I want that to sink in for a second because that is freaking unreal. 2 million people quit their jobs every month. Now, some of those people are probably leaving for bigger and better opportunities. Some of those people are probably leaving to start their own business. So, how many businesses are in the U.S.? 27 million. 21 million of those 27. So, 21 out of 27. 21 out of 27 are non-employers or self-employed, meaning it's just them. They're the sole owner of the business. They are it. That's it. Game over. Then another 3.7 million. So they, they basically have employees of one. Employees of one. Then we have another 3.7 million have one to four employees. And all that is according to the census data that we have in 2010. So, majority, 21 out of 27, are non-employers. They don't employ anybody. They're self-employed. It's one person. And another 3.7 only have one to four employees. So, that is, if you add all that up, 3.7, that's 2 point, or 24... Point seven out of 27 have one, have either no, either, well, we'll just say zero, have zero, have zero to four employees. 24.7 out of 27 million have zero to four employees. Crazy, huh? Nuts so. So, I looked then, so basically, if you think you're going to, I mean, here we go. We're looking at statistics. 
We're actually pulling on numbers so we don't get emotional about the, some of this stuff. Majority of businesses don't employ that many people. So you think you're gonna build up a business and have a bunch of people working for you, odds are ain't gonna happen. I'm not poo-pooing on anybody. Some people actually have those aspirations and they can do it, but I'm just, I'm just reading the numbers here. Now, oh, I love this. 500,000 small businesses start each month. So some of those 2 million that leave are starting their businesses, they're moving on. There's 500,000. That is insane. 500K a month. What in the holy crap? Unbelievable. 500 businesses start every month according to the census data. Wait, is that census? Yeah. U.S. Census data. 20, so, well, excuse me, Census Bureau 20, 2012. Now, this, you guys are really, really going to, this is going to, this is where it starts getting unfortunate, really. So, this is a percent of small businesses, which are businesses with fewer than 500 employees. So we already said this covers like 24, almost, I mean, 25 million out of 27 million. What is that? That's almost, um, that's like eight, 90% of the businesses, over 90% of the business. So this statistic is going to cover 90% of the businesses. And this is according to the uh, Bureau of Labor Statistics. And this is in 2012. So this is, uh, or excuse me, this is as of March 2017. So, how many of those small businesses fail? So, these are failure rates. We're going to go one year, two years, five years, and ten years. Now, while I'm writing this, I want you guys to, I'm going to write these down. I want you to think, just guess, how many fail, how many of those businesses fail after one year? How many fail after two years? How many fail after five years? And how many fail after 10 years? Do you guys have any ideas, any guesses? These were scary, really. So, here are the failure rates due or uh, reported by the Bureau of Labor Statistics for March 2017. The businesses, small businesses, businesses with fewer than 500 employees had a failure rate, basically went, you know, shut the doors after one year, it was 20% of them. After two years, 33% shut down. After five years, at the five-year mark, 50% had had to shut the doors. At 10 years, 70%. Tell me what it is for 15, 20 30 years. We don't know. And as you can see, the rate gets higher and higher. So God knows what it is for 15 years, 20 years, 30 years. So here we go again. You're going to start a business. Woo! It's going to be so easy. You're just going to start. All the employees are going to flock to you like the salmon of Capistrano. No. It's tough. It sucks. You got to put in the work. You got to work every freaking day. You make less money. You have a lot more hours. If you think you're going to start a business because you're going to have more free time, you're wrong. So, but Cameron, those that survive make a lot of money. Let's see. That's why I pulled that data next. So this is from 2012. Okay, we have, we have, uh, have sales... Okay, these are just sales numbers. These are just sales numbers. I want you guys to think about this. So, this is 500K to a million a year. We have 200K to 499,000 a year. We have 150K to 199 a year. We have... 149k to 100k to 149k a year. We have 75k to 95k or 99k. And then we have 50 to 74. 
and we even get even more granular. So we get uh, we get 49. I wrote these backwards, so it's kind of a pain in the ass. 25k uh, under 10k. Okay, these. So again, let's do it like we did last time. Let's guess how what percent of businesses make between in 2012. Make between or do sales between five hundred thousand and a million a year. I'm going to write these down. Between two hundred thousand and five hundred thousand a year. Between one hundred and fifty and two hundred thousand. Between uh, hundred and hundred and fifty thousand. Between seventy five thousand ninety five thousand. You guys can take guesses here. Come on, I can't hear you. Between 50 and 75, between 25 and 49, and between and under 10,000. That does not look like a five. That does. Okay. Woo! Here we go. Here are the numbers. So, businesses that make between half a million and a million, 10%. Then between a half a million or 200,000, half a million is 12, 4, 5, 5, 8, 15. It's hard to read these upside down or backwards. And under 10,000, 29%. Holy shit. Why would you ever go in business for yourself? Look at that. 29% make under 10,000. So, if you add these up, 29% make less than 10,000. 50 52% make less than 50. Or excuse me, 42%, for, 34%. Yeah, yeah, no, hold on. Did I screw something up here? 10 to... Oh, yeah, we didn't... I didn't even put 24 to 10,000 in here. So there's another number in there. The 24 to 10,000 is 8%. Sorry. The 24, that little one I missed in there is 8%. So the amount of businesses that make under 50K is 52%. Holy Moses. Under 50K. I've kind of boxed them in and I had to rewrite. So you have 15, 8, and 29. Holy Moses. Another number. Only there are very few businesses that gross high figures, right? There are only 4% that do above this number. Is only four percent. Four percent do north of a million a year. Now, these again, again, guys, these are just the numbers. These are just the numbers on gross gross revenue. This is not profits. This is revenue. So, how the question, real question, is how many of these businesses lose money? That's just revenue. 52% make less than 50k a year. Excuse me. Bring in less than 52 a year. Or bring in, excuse me, 52% bring in less than 50 a year. They got to have expenses, you got to buy product, you got to do uh you got to keep the business going, you got to grow, you got to market. You think these companies are making that? So, what did we learn? I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer here. I just want to be realistic with people. I think we get these these pie in the sky ideas. Oh my God, Bill Gates did it. Warren Buffett did it. Michael Dell, Steve Jobs. I don't even know if Warren Buffett actually went to college. I don't think so, but I don't know. Um, I hear that all the time. Oh my God, they dropped out. You can drop out. I just showed you the statistics. The fact of the matter is, high school dropouts make less than people who get their degrees. So the odds, if you want to play odds, you can play. You can do whatever you want. But if you want to play the odds, the odds are you're going to make more money if you get your college degree. Second piece, second piece, a lot of people quit their jobs and start businesses. 
The majority of businesses are small businesses, meaning that you're going to be doing a lot of the work still. When small businesses, less than four employees, you're still doing a lot of the work. So you're not, the odds are you're not going to build a big business. Then we look at failure statistics. 70% of small businesses, i.e. businesses under half, or excuse me, under 500 employees, 70% fail within 10 years. So you're going to make more money if you go to college. A lot of people quit their jobs and, the, and, start, and start businesses. The businesses that are started, half a million a month, and they're under four employees. You're still doing a lot of work. And then they fail. 70% of them fail within 10 years. Fail. The ones that survive, only 52% of them, half of them, make less than 50K a year. Have, bring in less than 50, 50 a year. 52% bring in less than 50 a year. 4% gross over a million. Think you're going to be a millionaire business owner? Gross. These are all gross numbers. All I'm trying to get at here, guys, I own a business. I love it. I enjoy it a lot. But you can't do it just because you think you're going to make a lot of money. I, When I got into real estate, I thought I was going to make a lot of money. I'm still working stupid hours. I'm still doing a lot. I'm having a good time. I'm, I'm helping people. But telling you, be cautious and weary of these people that throw out these one-off people like Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Michael Dell, etc., that they quit and they became multimillionaires. The odds are not in your favor. So I just cautious you, I just want to caution you. Um, don't take a, a leap um, and watch some of the other videos. I've got statistics on there about how long these successful business owners worked in corporate America. And I just, I always see this pie in the sky idea and all these bloggers and Instagrammers are all like, oh yeah, man, quit, quit the corporate life, job, J-O-B, just over broke, blah, blah, blah. Bullshit. It's all bullshit. It's propaganda. The fact of, these are facts. You guys can take them any way you want them and I don't want to discourage anybody. I just want to enlighten you and make sure before you make a decision, you make an informed and intelligent decision, not just a decision. So... Hope you guys found this valuable. If you did, let me know. If you didn't, let me know. I hope you like my board. Hope you could see it. Um, I'm gonna be using this a lot more. I got it. It's like $5.99 at HEB. I'm gonna rock the uh, Buckeye Polo for a little while. Let me know what you think about that. If you don't like it, I don't care. Well, if you like Michigan, I don't care. Let me know, guys. Comment below. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying helping you guys, and I appreciate all the feedback. Thanks. See you next week.